College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences Graduation Ceremony 2001. Leading the procession is our mace bearer, outstanding advisor, and a professor in political science, Dr. John Corey. Carrying the college banner, Tony A. Dial, outstanding graduate, Department of Kinesiology and Health Promotion. The faculty of the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences. Lower it, lower it. Department of History. Department of Music. of Geography and Anthropology. Department of Philosophy.
Department of Behavioral Sciences. Department of Communication. Psychology option in behavioral sciences. Sociology option, Behavioral Science Department.
Communication Department. Economics Department. English and foreign languages. Kinesiology and Health Promotion.
good afternoon. Raphael Duran from the music department will now sing the national anthem. Please stay standing. Please be seated. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the California State Polytechnic University Pomona and the trustees of the California State University, I want to welcome all the graduates in the class of 2001, their friends and families, to the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences commencement. <laughs> Many people worked hard for you to reach this commencement day. The faculty who passed the torch of knowledge and the ability to perform as professionals in your discipline. The staff who see to the ongoing support for learning and the many professionals who give their time and energy to make this college serve the students even better. Welcome. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce the distinguished members of the stage party. I will ask each of them to stand and I read their names, but please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. Starting on my right in the first row, Dr. Bob H. Suzuki, president of Cal Poly Pomona. Mr. Ed Tessier, our featured speaker this year, and the college's outstanding graduating senior, Tony Dial. In the second row on my right, Dr. Jane Olenberger, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Ms. Patricia Ferris, Vice President for Administrative Affairs, Vice President, I'm sorry, Dr. Michael Berman, Vice President for Instructional and Information Technology, and Dr. Lorraine Turk, Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. Seated to my left in the first row is our Mace Fairer, the Grand Marshal, and the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences Outstanding Advisor for 2000-2001, Dr. John Corey, and the Senior Class Representative, Allison Ratzloff. In the second row on my left, Dr. Esteban Soriano, Vice President for University Advancement, the representative of the Academic Senate, Dr. David Lord, and the college's distinguished alumnus, Mr. Steve Bruker. And to my left also are our professional readers. Welcome them all, please. Thank you. 
I would now like to call on President Suzuki for his welcome and introductory remarks. President Suzuki. Thank you, Barbara. It's a pleasure for me to join Dean Way in welcoming all of you, our graduates and your parents, families, and friends on this happy occasion. My sincere congratulations to our graduates, as well as those who supported you in reaching this most significant milestone in your lives. Let me also wish all of you the very best as you leave this university. You have received a rigorous education here from our outstanding faculty who are deeply committed to excellence in teaching and learning, the primary mission of Cal Poly Pomona. We also have great academic support staff who have assisted you in countless ways to have a successful academic and social experience here. As a result, I'm confident you'll find yourself very well prepared whether you pursue a career in the workplace or go on to professional or graduate school. If you don't realize it already, you should also know that Cal Poly Pomona enjoys an excellent reputation, not only in our immediate region, but increasingly throughout the state and the nation. In this year's U.S. News and World Report College Rankings, Cal Poly Pomona tied for third place in the category of top Western regional public universities. The university is also ranked among the top 20 universities nationally in awarding baccalaureate degrees to minority students. Our growing reputation is due to the extraordinary achievements of our students, faculty, and alumni. Let me give you just a few examples. Cal Poly Pomona is the only campus in the California State University system to have a faculty member win the coveted Wong Family Excellence Award each year since its inception in 1999. The three faculty members selected for this $20,000 award are from disciplines across the university. These faculty are a reflection of the excellence of our faculty at Cal Poly Pomona. For the fourth straight year, the Cal Poly Pomona Model United Nations team, coached by history professor John Moore, won major honors at the National Model United Nations Conference an intense and highly competitive simulation of the actual United Nations. The team earned the top honors at this year's conference, competing against 2,500 students from 220 universities around the country. Yeah, they really deserve recognition. And in March of this year, our women's basketball team, through stupendous and courageous efforts, won the NCAA Division II National Championship in Rochester, Minnesota. It was the fourth national championship for our women's basketball team, but no doubt one of the most memorable. Our student athletes are not only highly talented athletes, they are also excellent students, making our athletic program one of the best Division II programs in the country. Colorful Flags, a project under the direction of Dr. Renford Reese in the Political Science Department, has been endorsed by the Los Angeles Human Relations Commission as one of its seven recommendations to stem racism and anti-immigrant sentiment. As the first of its kind in the nation, the program has had far-reaching success by teaching common courtesies in other languages. It has been presented to nearly 130,000 K through 12 students in 17 school districts in Southern California, as well as in police departments, hospitals, and other organizations. The Pomona Downtown Center, established through the leadership of Dean Barbara Way, as well as with the tremendous assistance of your commencement speaker today, and the work of many faculty, staff, and students, serves as a hub for the cultural, academic, and outreach activities in the city of Pomona, while providing students with hands-on experience in the community. Boasting 14,000 square feet of space, the downtown center includes a 99-seat theater, fine arts galleries, computer labs, and offices for other activities, including meeting space for local organizations. In just one year, the downtown center held 17 gallery exhibits and 23 theater shows, as well as numerous meetings and classes. The mobile unit 
is a traveling clinic that offers on-site testing and counseling for learning disabilities and developmental delay, as well as emotional and behavioral problems. Operating from a 42-foot RV, complete with private counseling areas and run by behavioral sciences faculty and student volunteers, the Mobile Unit has helped hundreds of low-income families. And last year, our student newspaper, the Poly Post, won 19 awards, including four first place awards in the 51st California Intercollegiate Press Association Conference. The university is also proud to include as alumni such prominent journalists and publishers as Mike Ferguson, Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the Las Vegas Review Journal, a leading newspaper in the Western United States. John C. Brewer, former, uh, formerly Editor-in-Chief of the New York Times Syndicate and currently Editor and Publisher of the Peninsula Daily News in Port Angeles, Washington. And finally, Robert Botzer, publisher of the Inland Valley Daily Bulletin, one of the main newspapers of the region with a circulation of 70,000. Now this is only a very abbreviated list of the achievements of our students, faculty, and alumni. I could go on and on, but I think it gives you an idea of why Cal Poly Pomona enjoys such a great reputation. However, because Cal Poly Pomona, as well as the other CSU campuses, are among the least expensive institutions of higher education to attend, some people often mistakenly believe that we do not offer the highest quality education. The truth is that Cal Poly Pomona offers an education that is equal to or better than the quality of education offered by institutions costing many times more. It is, in fact, one of the best bargains and best values in higher education. And over the next five to 10 years, Cal Poly Pomona will become an even better institution. As you may have noticed, we have a lot of construction taking place on campus. In the next five years, we will have completed a total of over $500 million in new construction over a 10-year period. The new buildings that are going up will have a dramatic impact in changing the physical face of the campus and provide state-of-the-art facilities for our students. We are also becoming increasingly successful in attracting private and federal support for the university, and our endowment has quadrupled in the past five years. The Council for Aid to Education ranks Cal Poly Pomona sixth in the nation for corporate support and 11th in the nation for overall fundraising among all public universities with master's degree programs. As a large number of our faculty retire in the next 10 to 12 years, we will be replacing them with around 300 new faculty. We have already been successful in attracting many outstanding new faculty who are bringing fresh knowledge, ideas, and vitality to the university. And together with our more experienced faculty are helping the university attain new heights of excellence. I believe these and other developments will enable Cal Poly Pomona to become one of the most distinguished teaching universities in the country. With such a strong history of achievements by our students, faculty, and alumni, I am confident that all of you who are graduating today are well prepared for your future careers and will enjoy great success in the years ahead. I hope all of you will also try to make a difference in the lives of others and that you will not only become leaders in your profession, but also in your communities. I'm sure you recognize the significant support you have received from our many outstanding faculty and staff. They, along with your families, have helped you succeed here. As alumni, we hope you will come back to Cal Poly Pomona to act as mentors to our students, serve on advisor groups, speak to student organizations, and give back to the university in many other ways in return for the support you have received while you were students here and help future generations of students who follow in your footsteps to also succeed. We have been blessed with your presence at this university, and we hope you will return home to this campus many times in the future. Good luck and best wishes to all of you as you pursue your hopes and dreams in the years ahead. Again, congratulations and thank you.
Thank you, President Suzuki. Now I would like to introduce the senior class representative from the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences, Allison Ratzlaff, who will present the senior class gift to President Suzuki. President Suzuki, Dean Wei, members of the stage party, distinguished guests, and fellow members of the class of 2001. It is a tradition at Cal Poly Pomona for the members of the graduating class to leave a gift of lasting value to the campus and, it, and make our campus a better place for future students. This year, it is my pleasure to continue that tradition. President Suzuki, I am pleased to present to you, on behalf of the class of 2001, our gift, the installation of new benches, manufactured from sustainable materials, to be placed on the east side of the CLA building to provide a safe, convenient, and more attractive place for students to gather. These benches will be part of a new landscaping initiative which will dramatically enhance this area of the campus and we are proud to be a part of this project. Thank you very much, Allison. Okay. Thank you very much, Allison. This is a wonderful and much needed gift which I'm sure will be greatly appreciated by future generations of our students. So class of 2001, on behalf of the entire university, thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to present the award for the outstanding senior of the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences to Ms. Tony Dial. Tony, would you join me? Tony. <laughs> Okay. Tony came to Cal Poly Pomona in 1997 from Calvary Baptist High School in Laverne, where she was class valedictorian. She's been on the President's Honors List and the recipient of the Robert C. Byrd Scholarship each year since she's been enrolled at Cal Poly Pomona. Tony was also a President's Council Scholar for the 2000-2001 academic year. Tony was named the Outstanding Junior from Golden Key National Honor Society last May and was awarded a scholarship from the Ford Motor Company. This helped her to participate in the college's Study in China program last summer. While pursuing her education, Tony has worked as a peer health educator at our campus wellness center. She has also taught physical education and coached junior high girls sports. Currently, Tony is substitute teaching and is completing the year as an advanced math teacher. Tony, congratulations. You want to say thank you? Thank you. Today, as we walk across this stage, we realize the attainment of a lifelong goal. We have endured many long days and many sleepless nights in the process. We have spent countless hours in the library, writing papers, or studying for exams. However, this experience would not have been complete without numerous study breaks. During our time here, we have made time to make friends, to study with friends, and to play with friends. We have found time to be involved in more than just academics, whether that involvement was in Greek organizations, campus clubs, honor societies, sports teams, or full-time jobs. We have made many sacrifices during our stay here, and today those sacrifices become worthwhile. For today, we join an elite population. Today, we become a part of the 30% of high school graduates who go on to obtain a bachelor's degree. Although our class consists of people from many backgrounds, today we become bound by a common thread. Today, we proudly join and strive to encourage others to join us in an educational minority. As we move on to our careers, we should do so with confidence, knowing that the friendships we have made here, the advice and life lessons we have received from our professors outside the classroom, and the vital knowledge our professors have bestowed upon us inside the classroom have immensely prepared us for what lies ahead. And lastly, take pride in yourselves and in what you have accomplished, knowing that with the Lord's help, nothing is impossible. Congratulations, class of 2001.
Nice job, Tom. At this time, I am pleased to have the privilege. Remember, you haven't graduated yet. <laughs> At this time, I am pleased to have the privilege of presenting the first Julian A. McPhee Honor Award for Student Excellence. Julian McPhee was the founding president of both Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and Cal Poly Pomona. He provided more than 35 years of dedicated service to the citizens of California. This special award was thoughtfully funded by an anonymous donor who was a colleague of Julian McPhee and honors a current graduating senior who exhibits excellence in his or her academic endeavors. The honoree from the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences is Tony A. Dial. Congratulations, Tony. If uh, Dean Way will join me at the podium, we would like to present you with a medallion and a certificate. Congratulations once again, Tony. At this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce our 2001 Distinguished Alumnus, Mr. Stephen Brooker. After graduating from Cal Poly Pomona in the 1970s, Steve earned his master's degree in physical education from San Diego State University. He then began his teaching career, which is now in his 25th year. He spent 22 of those years at a middle school near San Diego. He's very active in the physical education field, and Steve has been giving presentations at sites throughout California, including Cal Poly Pomona, on how to develop a quality physical education program. In 1996, Steve authored the book, Table Tennis, the Education Program, designed to help schools begin their own table tennis programs. Following the publication, he spent four years touring the country speaking to educators about how to start their own uh, table tennis program and about other various physical education issues. Steve has received many awards for his outstanding work as a middle school teacher. These include being named the 1999 National Middle School Teacher of the Year by the American Association of Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance. As a result of receiving this award, Steve has been invited to speak internationally. Last November, he was in Nice, France, and recently he was asked to make a presentation in Malaysia at the East Asia International Schools Conference. When not teaching or speaking, Steve enjoys spending his spare time with his wife and his children. Steve, would you please join me at the podium? It's my great pleasure to present you with this award. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to our commencement speaker, Mr. Ed Tessier. This was the year of the engaged university, and one part of that engagement was for the university community to become engaged with the outside, external community. Ed is the co-founder of the Cal Poly Pomona, of the, I'm sorry, of the Pomona Arts Colony and began his association with Cal Poly Pomona in 1995 when he was asked to join the university's strategic planning task force. Since then, Ed has expanded his ties with our campus and our college through his involvement with the Cal Poly Pomona Downtown Center. In fact, he is an active member of the center's advisory board. Ed is always looking for ways to link our university with educational and entrepreneurial opportunities in Pomona. He graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology with honors from Pomona College and has dedicated his energy and time to community service. He's an active member of many civic organizations in Pomona, including the Central Business District, the Committee on Disability, the Vehicle Parking District, and the Heritage Committee. Ed has received many awards in recognition of his community involvement. Just last year, he was named Small Business Advocate of the Year. Ed also has received and been named 
Pomona College's Young Alumnus of the Year and the Outstanding Young Californian by the California JCs. Its entrepreneurial efforts have also been recognized as Pomona Valley's Small Business of the Year. Ed's outreach efforts include frequent guest lectures at area campuses where he discusses disability issues, the cultural arts, and economic development. We're very happy that Ed can join us for today's celebration, and in August, he's going to be attending another very important ceremony, his wedding. So congratulations, Ed. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. Ed Tessier. I want to uh, thank Dean Way for that warm introduction and thank President Suzuki and all of you for giving me a chance to be part of this beautiful event. This weekend, this campus is busier with ceremonies than a Vegas wedding chapel. But I've heard that this graduation here is uh, extra special. According to the parents I met coming up the hill, this is easily the best looking class of men and women Cal Poly's ever graduated. Of course, your good looks didn't make these recent years any easier. Occasionally, it seemed you wouldn't make it. There was that time you actually had to start attending classes after all your stocks crashed. <laughs> and some of you almost missed senior year walking all the way from Mount Sac. No, you didn't confuse the schools, but Mount Sac had the closest open parking space. And of, co and of course, we still hope to hear from your classmates that took the bus to school. <laughs> Even today has had its complications. At four this afternoon, the guys that went to grad night at Dennis Rodman's beach house were still being fingerprinted. <laughs> and the Bush girls are still there. And I am sorry to announce that the plane that was supposed to fly over us with that congratulations banner is still on the ground in China. <laughs> and even now, the scheduled blackout could hit and interrupt. <laughs> but seriously, nothing can take away what you young men and women have done and how it's brought us all together. This is truly a joyous occasion. It's one of those rare new beginnings in life that call for celebration. Right now, you are free of the pressures and history behind you. You leave today with a clean slate. In a sense, graduating is like a presidential pardon, but a lot cheaper. <laughs> cheaper if you're a California resident. <laughs> the only pressing question is what will you do with your new freedom? What can you do with a degree in PlayStation 2? Now, of course, you need to find a good career. You need to be a good son or daughter, spouse, parent, friend. You need to tackle life with hard work, honesty, respect. Eventually, you even need to pay off your college credit cards. Yet all of these things, as hard as they are sometimes, they are just life's minimum requirements. These are the things we all have to do, just for a passing grade, just to get a D in life. Now, true with grades like that, you could be president one day. N not, not a university president, but a president. <laughs> so, but trust me, a D in life is, falls far, far short of your life's full potential. Over the years, I have worked with so many Cal Poly Pomona graduates. I know the caliber of people this campus produces. And that gives me an unshakable faith that each and every one of you has something special to contribute to life beyond the basics, something that distinguishes you something that gives your life, your time on Earth, a more special meeting. Life, essentially, is a bigger opportunity than an SUV in a stucco house in Irvine. I guarantee you, there is at least one thing out there, one thing that needs to be done, but won't get done unless you do it. 
and it's probably the most important thing in life you'll ever do. It could be anything. You can write a play about a lost history we all need to remember. You can push for a cure for a disease too small for Wall Street to notice. You can look for that out for that one neighbor that has nobody else to rely on, or you can be that educator that changed lives. There are countless crusades for peace and good health and justice that need to be waged. People even still join the Peace Corps. Though, uh, I, should, uh, I should announce, if any of you feel a calling to serve your country quite like that, Vice President Cheney has asked all graduation speakers this year to direct you to a rewarding career in oil exploration. <laughs> Just uh, see a recruitment office in any one of our fine national parks. <laughs> now, if the idea of a calling seems too celibate or something, at least open yourselves to feel passion. Feel passionately about just one thing that isn't in your day planner and do what needs to be done. In my own life, my anger at how people with disabilities are so often mistreated led me and others to years of campaigns, education drives, jail time, and civil rights legislation that changed the world. Back home, my grief at seeing how blighted Pomona had become drove me to launch the Arts Colony Project that has helped revitalize our downtown, create a regional cultural resource, and join partnerships with institutions like Cal Poly. I'd like to usher in your graduation with a story about how one woman made my graduation possible. When I enrolled in Pomona College over in Claremont, they had never admitted a wheelchair user in their 100-year history. Much of my time there was spent battling prejudice, pushing for better access, and fighting for the admission of more disabled students. By the time my graduation rolled around, there were some hard feelings about my crusade, and the president refused to hold the ceremony in an accessible auditorium. So, Junior Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude, and not, none of that notwithstanding, he offered to give me my diploma in the parking lot after the ceremony. I decided I just wouldn't go uh, to take a diploma like that, but a class officer, Kathy Murdoch, decided that was wrong and got mad. Though she had no disability and we had never been friends, she single-handedly wrote letters, circulated petitions, mobilized the media, and even convinced faculty to boycott the graduation in protest. Today, some of us can feel, breathe a sigh of relief that Kathy didn't attend Pomona Col uh, Cloud Poly and get mad here. <laughs> but all those years later, I still marvel at how she jeopardized her own graduation survived all the attacks and all the apathy, and won. I rolled up a brand new auditorium ramp to pick up my diploma. <laughs> Kathy Murdoch made a big difference in my life, and her selfless, reckless acts of caring changed that school forever. I have no idea what her, grad her GPA was, but she got an A in life at 22. So my soon-to-be graduates, Cal Poly gave you the values and skills you need to make your unique contribution to life. And there are no good excuses. No demanding schedule, no financial setback, no addiction, no criticism, no cynicism, no lack of imagination, and no disability can hold you back. Just pick up your diploma today and get out there. Earn the grade in life you deserve, and congratulations in advance. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. That was very inspiring. At this point, I'd like to introduce our musical interlude, and this is going to be by Mr. Raphael Duran of the Cal Poly Pomona Music Department. Raphael?
This is the moment. This is the day. This is the moment when I know I'm on my way. Every endeavor I have made ever, it's coming into place. It's here and now, today. This is the moment. This is the time. When the momentum and the moment are in rhyme, give me this moment, this precious moment. I'll gather up my past and make some sense at last. This is the moment when all I thought all of the dreaming, screaming, and scheming becomes one. This is the day, just see it shine. When all I've lived for becomes mine. This is the moment, this is the hour. When I can open up tomorrow like a flower and put my hand to everything I plan to fulfill my grand design, see all my stars align. This is the moment, my final test. Destiny beckoned, I never reckoned, second best. I won't look down, I must not fall. This is the moment, the sweetest moment of all. This is the moment. I sit forever with the gods. When I look back, I will recall moment for moment. This was the moment, the greatest moment. Oh. Thank you, Raphael, and thank you, Janet, for accompanying him. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jane Olenberger, who will present the candidates for the master's degrees. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Psychology, the Master of Science in Economics, the Master of Arts in English, and the Master of Science in Kinesiology, please rise. <laughs> President Suzuki, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Science in Psychology, Master of Science in Economics, the Master of Arts in English, and the Master of Science in Kinesiology. These candidates have completed the requirements for each of these respective degrees as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University. They have been recommended by the faculty of California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Candidates for the master's degree, you have received the recommendation of the faculty of the California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. 
by the authority vested in me as president, I confer the degree of Master of Science in Psychology, Master of Science in Economics, Master of Arts in English, and Master of Science in Kinesiology with all the rights, honors, and opportunities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Masters candidates, please come forward to the left side of the stage, hand your name card to the readers, then step forward to be hooded by your department chair and to receive recognition from President Suzuki. Please return to your seat down the center ramp and down the center aisle. Our first students will be receiving the Masters in Psychology. Barad Tamadan. Misty Michelle Allen. <laughs> Mariah Jean Andrews. Linda Marie Yamas. <laughs> Carolina Elizabeth Torres. Linda Louise Adams. Robert J. Simmons. Leanne Marie Mason. <laughs> Jocelyn Ilagan Elicio. Graciela Olid Ramirez. Dana Julia Solomon. Stephanie Lynn Vrabel. Uh, 
economics. Jaspreet K. Dillon. Carmen Alejandra Flores. Sushot Sivakosef. The Master of Arts in English. Leanne Kretzer. David Allen Lepore. Leonard King Vandegrift. Christopher Zeik. Bianca A. Lee. <laughs> Stephanie Renee Moser. Jennifer Lynn Kirchhoff. Salima Haddad. The Master in Sci of Science in Kinesiology. Jennifer Melissa Hastings. The Master of Art in History. Kent L. Christoph. I might mention that the young man who just received the Master of Arts in History is our first graduate of our master's degree, degree program in that department.
Will the baccalaureate degree candidates please rise? <laughs> President Suzuki, I present to you candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. The baccalaureate candidates from the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences have completed the requirements for the baccalaureate degree as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University. And they have been recommended for their degrees by the faculty of the California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Okay, this is the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Candidates for the baccalaureate degree, you have heard the recommendation of the faculty at the California State Polytechnic University, Pomona, and you have received recognition from Dean Way, myself, and others. By the authority vested in me as president, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science with all the rights, honors, and opportunities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. In academic tradition, the student who has not yet earned a degree wears the mortarboard tassel on the right side. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left and joins a select company. In recognition of your new status, will each recipient of the baccalaureate degree move your tassel to the left? Congratulations. Please be seated for just a moment. We will honor each candidate by department, beginning with those on the left side of the aisle followed by those on the right. As your department is called, please stand, exit on the outside aisle, and come forward to the left side of the stage. Present your name card to the reader, then step forward for recognition from me, President Suzuki, and others. Please exit down the ramp and return to your seating area. I ask you to please remain in your seat until the conclusion of this ceremony. If you don't have your name card with you, one will be provided for you while you're in line. Is everybody ready? I call history. Stephen Andrew Whiteley, with honors. Gianna Renee Catalano. Stephen Francisco Hernandez Lopez. Bobby Ray Gabriel. Ryan Matthew Venti. Rudy Torres. Carlos Tejada. Joseph David Dietz. Elizabeth Vargas. Victor Daniel Man Maldonado. Mark Joseph Thompson. Roseman Toby Jacobs. Stacy Jensen. Benjamin Thomas Taggart. Timothy Peter Hansen. 
Juanita Leanne Penn. Olivia Robledo Chavez. Ramon Gutierrez. Stacy Marie Martinez. Jacqueline Michelle Lindbergh. William Randolph Marsh. Jonathan Andrew Poulos. Mark Joseph Nuri. Daniel Russell Hope. Javier Albert Cayetano. Timothy Matthew Jang. Rodney Henry Cariente. Rami Radi Yakub. Wan Sok Choi. Paul Francis Billman. Michael Track Lamb. Vincent Paul Ruzan. Music. Monica L. Nash. Adria LaShawn Brody. April Deshawn Brody. Danielle Janine Gomez. Johnny G. Elia Ostrander. Ahila Gula Sekoram. Sarah Chuatakul. Pup Willie Lamb. Political science. Stephen Paul Andringu. Sandra Viviana Rocha. Angela Marie Bartzak. Christopher Michael Johnson. Claude M. Martin. Amy Elizabeth Duncan. Karen Lynette Frost. <laughs> Kenneth Leonard Hernandez. Marcella Olivia Naba. Shamim Syed. David Maus. Heather Kathleen Davis. <laughs> Allison Michelle Ratzloff. Mark Gonzalez. Arturo Carmona. Max Harvey Kelton Jr. Robert J. Platero. Reginald Jamal Rieger. Chanda Sobin Run. <laughs> 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 
Luella Harrison. Kelly Lee Hubbard. Trevor Mason Rose. Geography and Anthropology. Joseph Robert Simons. Mandy Martinez. Daniel Frank Martinson. Julie Carolyn Evans. Bridget Ann Bierke. Samantha Leslie Antcliffe. Joanne Wallace Beechel. Ethan Arlen Jackson. Aaron Richard Lee. Sarah Jean Spute. Dennis Robert James. Ernie Gonzalez. Stephanie Sue Anderson. Paul Ascension Delgado. Smitty Singh. Claudia Edith Candelis. Daniel Paul C. Slick. Stephen Richard Greaves. Deshaun K. Leatawa. Scott David Gordon. Theater. Andrew S. Cohen. Brandy Stroma. James Anthony Ray. Ayana Ayin Harris. Paul Peraza Lopez. Amy Ann Noland with honors. Jonathan Damian Basto. Jessica Carmela Buenrostro. Double major with English. Rebecca Lynn Wilson. Ludwig Peter Manukian. David Joseph Ryan. Megan Elizabeth Young. Philosophy. Maricela G. Sanchez. Amal Khoury. James Walter Fowler III. Richard Jason Von Colen. Kenneth J. Kim. The Behavioral Sciences Department with the majors of Psychology, Social Theology, and Behavioral Sciences. Heather O'Brien Lewis. Dulce M. Guerrero. 
Vanessa Perez. Leticia Espinosa. Francia LaShawn Barbie. Velia Hermosillo. Ana Maria Gonzalez Sanchez. Elizabeth Raquel Reyes Asituno. Lizelle Tanyega Toisson. Mar Maricela Ibanez. Tony M. Dianda. Myra Jeannie Del Castillo. Jennifer Ann Williams. Georgina Via Lobos. Nicole Marie Via Lopez. Jessica Kiesendahl. Erica Joy Martinez. Patricia Jennifer Venti. Carlene Elizabeth Cannon with honor. Nathan Ray Butera. Bettina El Perez. J. Pascual Catacutan. Olga Avicia. Yvette Roselle Thomas. Salvador Garcia Jr. Bobby Jean Bethel. Elizabeth Selena Rojas Smith. Melody Canbigi. Thomas Eugene Darby Jr. Michael Raymond Rick. Tanisha Sims. Vida Alitha Hernandez. Shannon Aaliyah Williams. Amit Joshu Patel. James Bond Caplet. Joseph John Zuer. Kyle Eugene Patterson. Kia Deidre Flores. David C. Arnold with honors. Edwin Romero with honors. Paul Van New. Tiffany Tran to win. Misty Marie Reyna. Brantley David Oy. Alberto B. Mendoza. Joel Dominguez. <laughs> Jeffrey E. Holtzclaw. Kimberly Ann Heinricher. Fawn Patty Lai. 
Chrissy June Cruzan. Thomas Anthony Schottke. Eduardo Torres. Danny N. Aung. Jacqueline Lynn Esparza with honors. Aaron Thomas Spalding. Andrea Marie Flores. Rocky Liu. Dennis Sat To. Eduardo N. Aguilar. Jane Elizabeth Maxey. Laney Joe Clues. Ryan Patrick McGuire. Shelby Molia Evans with honors. Sandra Naomi Cortez. Sabia Siddiqui. Amanda Sue Hines with honors. Margaret Ann Guercio. Emil Emily Jean Medlock. Angela Maria Martinez with honors. Monica Hernandez. Lauren Teresa Giardinelli. Sun Young Lee. Marianne Heinen. Bethann Nasser. Hun Kyung Kim. Frida Alejandrina Harigi. Aaron Agabon Schumacher. Diane Michelle Pope. Melissa Diane Eckert. Jamie Ann Carrera. Brianna Kristen Lumsden. Maureen Antoinette Holland with honors. Elaine Luce Roa. Cheryl Detailo Reyes. Alicia Maria Villanueva with honors. Lisa Michelle Lopez. Owen D. Pearson. Nargis Machub. Sammy Xiaomin Lee. Amani Talat Gindi with honors. Naoma Angela Mendez. Jesenia Macias. Duran Lisa with honors. Rocio M. Gomez. Harold Isaac Vasquez. Shara Lyons. Sarah L. Tovar. Stephanie P. Pomo. 
Juan Carlos Flores. Hugo Alexander Castaneda. Lance Newman Miller with honors. J.D. Tumambing. Winnie Wayman Louis. Perlin Vias with honors. Kristen Shelley Cow with honors. Gabriela Espinosa. Lorraine Elizabeth Cuadra with honors. James Foster Baxter. Bridget Sandria Cheeks with honors. Carolyn Denise Johnson, McNair Scholar. Nok Chow T. Nguyen. Suzette Michelle Guillen. Adam Paul McCoy. Aisha Kimberly Owens. Natasha Aaron Weejay Singer. Carolyn Annette Hurst. Tristan Jerome Estanislaw. Neil De Jesus. Russell Mendieta Amos. Richard Mendieta Amio with honors. Jennifer Mariko Aku. Michaela Ann Barnett with honors. Sunisa Plasai. Anna Elizabeth Beltran. Evelyn Caroline Sinescu. Nora Christy Quintero. Ted Robert Dean. Kimyata Lakeisha Divinity. Kasaya Young. Lisa A. Wright. Marcia Daniel Casanova. Salvador M. Isais. Sean Michael Peters with honors. Rosalind Michelle Stokes. Leah Arena Royalty. Filippo Anselmo. Christine Delgado Hernandez. Maria Guadalupe Janos. Eric Hernandez Sanchez. Mark Ray Quesada. Julia Marie Hartman. Patricio Campo Rosas. Donna Ramos Rayboy. Sergio Antonio. Jennifer L. Tang. Elaine Brown. Grecia Parasa. Nancy Velasco. Oliver Sankap Vasquez II.
Zhao Chang. Ernesto Valdez. Ophelia Medina. Stacy McGee Wang. Joel Aron Dominguez. Cynthia Estada. Leticia Miranda. Candy Ruth Soto. Alicia Castro. Kathleen Denise Small. Janet Sulit. <laughs> Stephanie Ruth Leeds. Cameron Porhasinian. Michelle Marie Sanchez. Communication. <laughs> Matthew Edward Donahue. Mary Elia. Miranda Rubacaba. Shabnam Mosafari. Lori Lynn Kim. With honors. Asusena Pais Herrera. Lizette Carbajal. Stella Elaine Torres. Rosana Hernandez. Gabriela Contreras. Melissa Joy Rasmussen. Kimberly Camille Edwards. James Robert Espinosa. Craig Richard Higdon. Lieutenant Andrew B. Smith. Charles Christian Bell. Stephen George Wilson. Julian Jeremy Taylor. Jamie Diane Jager. Erin Elizabeth Owens. Jason R. Sanchez. Charlotte Doucette Bari Fisher. Scott Michael Mortara. <laughs> Paul Joseph Alcoser. <laughs> Evelyn Garcia de la Catena. <laughs> Elisa Suzanne Hutchinson. Sarah Elizabeth Toribio Bond. Nicole T. Claseri. <laughs> Tiffany Ann Baija. Rosalind Joe Tarrant. <laughs> Angeline Ong Tianco. Jeanette Marie Wallach. Delano. Marcus Delano Conley. <laughs> Rocio Alejandra Graciano.
Jordan Wu. Emily Ann Wilkerson. Mary Ann Tolano. Aaron Matthew Mendoza. Economics. Yikwing Day. John Michael Ganetin Tinio. Alan Lauren Trepp. Ronan Milano Nandy with honors. David Wynn. Ashley Yaganian. Neri Rose Guzman Agassa. Scott Andrew Rengar. Mahmoud Abdul Karim Harmoush. Sandra Roditi. English and Foreign Languages, which includes English and Spanish. Adrian Hidaya Rojas with honors. Kimberly Ann Powell. Lisa Marie DeGredo. Oscar Rene Pinto. Tamara Anna Pollock. Annalisa Herrera Concepcion. Maggie Shannon McWilliam. Charlotte Ray Martinson with Honors McNair Scholar. Robin Renee Cardin. Monique Echevarria. Julie Williams with Honors. Michelle E. Kiefer. Michael Joseph Hartshorn. Joseph Christopher Rivero Campagna. Gregory Hover Serrano. Petria Lynn Reese. Sandy Kaylee Lamb with honors. Jarvis Lacerra. Hillary Ann Cable with honors. Brianna Shea Hunt. Brett Ryan Hall. John Michael Anderson. Carlos E. Santana. Nancy Tram Wynn. Dion Nicole Trujillo. Kristen Meredith Sims. La Sonia Denise Chapman. Heather Dark. Doug E. Mulyan. Christine Michelle Walton. Gabriela Noriega. Aaron Patrick Owens. Vivian Olvera. Sigita Adams. Anthony Oriolia. Leticia Hickson. Elizabeth Ann Welches with honors.
Elizabeth Ann McCarthy O. Elizabeth Lauren Whitcher. Brandy Christine DeLang with honors. Jamie Lynn Suzinski. Bo Rodriguez Castro. Estella Genevieve Sigrist Torres. Susanna Kwiatkowski Sarko. Gary Leroy Ward II. Christopher D. Nielsen. Corey Joseph Castro. James Paul Eichen III. Ernest Rosero Ardalis Jr. Mansoor Bojani, with honors. Heather Suzanne Flanagan. Lee Diane Lovison, with honors. Kinesiology and Health Promotion. Tony Annette Dial with honors. Janelle Siobhan Arnold. Julie Elizabeth Rood. Nina Tam. Monica Day Sapp with honors. Jason Hamilton Fran. Shannon Lynn Doherty. Stephen, Stephen? Stephen Philip Jolie. Carly Jeanette Hinojosa. Jenny Weir. Brian Christopher Dorman. Christopher Scott Puente. Paul Jonathan Kim. Marina M. Fernando. Cheryl Lynn Kagawin with honors. Jennifer Schutowski. Katia Betris Moran. Casey Fosnes with honors. Judy Angeline De La Cruz. Carol Dolores Hall. Jonathan Wayne Vasai Ulibas. Ivan Reyes Sumalong. Janice Salas. Marco Antonio Nunez. Ruben Anthony Cota Sr. Ruby Maciel. Leticia Isabel Arosco. Paul Anthony Acosta. Nelson Miguel Estrada. Thomas Brian Strahan with honors. Justin Stanley Link. Rebecca Jo Bevins. Ulysses Mejia Marquez. <laughs> Salvatore Michael Orofici III. Dean De Jesus Silvestre. 
Carla Lee Tate. Sean Michael Gately. Shannon Ray Glover. Mary Tess Joy Ramora. Rico Brandon Sanchez. Julia Maria Rilera. Annette Gonzalez, McNair Research Scholar. Eric John Gonzalez with honors. Stanley Carranza. Ronald Ray Randall Jr. Again, our congratulations and best wishes to all of our graduates for the class of 2001. Will you please stand? Thank you. Thank you. It is well said in many contexts that no person stands alone. All of us here are deeply indebted to the parents, spouses, and other significant family members who have encouraged you, our graduates, to succeed at Cal Poly Pomona. In many cases, great sacrifices have been made. We salute you one and all. Now we ask that the parents, spouses, and families of all the graduates to honor us by standing for a well-deserved round of applause. At this time, at this time, I would I would like to recognize the student and faculty musical ensembles under the direction of Dr. Donald Ambrison, Department Chair of Music, for their performances here tonight. You heard the brass, the salsa, or you will hear the salsa, and the concert band. It has been my pleasure to preside over the 2001 commencement for the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences. I welcome you, the graduates, into our academic community. I also welcome you as our newest alumni and invite you to join Cal Poly Pomona Alumni Association in order to maintain ties to this university. For those of you who are returning caps and gowns, you can do that in front of Building 8. And I'm asking that the audience please remain seated during our recessional. At the conclusion of the faculty recessional, our commencement will be formally concluded. Thank you very much for joining us today.
Thank you. 